was, was Milos ever your coach? Did you have a coach? Yeah, Milos was my coach. Okay. So he did my nutrition, he did my training, he did pretty much everything. And, and I'm back with him again. And, you know, I told myself I'll never do a, a wheelchair competition. And uh, I think this year I got inspired by the, uh, the wheelchair Olympia. I, I was going to ask about that because I'm, I'm thinking, I see your pictures all the time. And, you know, this is nothing against Harold or any of the other wheelchair pros, but, I mean, you know, you were phenomenal. You were taking, you were beating guys like Marcus Rule back in the day, you know. You were, you competed with the likes of, just to give people an idea what the competition was like, in the in the brief span of years you were competing as a pro, you were up there with Ronnie Coleman, Chris Cormier, Jay Cutler, Dexter Jackson, Gunter Schleerkamp, Dennis James, Victor Martinez, Lee Priest, Gustavo Badel, on and on and on. It was it was quite a group that uh, that was still around in that era of the early to mid two thousands. Um, yeah, I, I we'll jump ahead to that. But you got inspired. Were you at the Olympia? Did you watch? Did you watch the competition? Yeah, I went. I went down there, and I, I you know I haven't watched competition in a couple of years. And I went down there and saw the pre judging for the open show, and and then I went and um, kind of had out trophies in the in the wheelchair division and I made an announcement that I'm back. Oh wow. So um so I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to do the uh the Arno. Oh actually. Uh, yeah, so I've been training training for that and then um hopefully, you know, win it there and then come back and win it at the wheelchair Olympia. And I don't plan on competing forever. I just want to come back and show people like, look, you know, even though the trials and tribulations that you go through um, sometimes life happens for us, not to us, and you just have to basically keep pushing through Where versus like quitting and, you know, which a lot of people do and they just give up, you know, they just throw their hand up. And to me, it's like, you know what, if I'm still on this earth, there's got to be a reason why I'm still here, you know. 